Yeah, so we work, we add uh, some of the populations um, on the grass close up. And the next, I want to add populations right around this area. And you can see where the camera was covering. Add right here um, some trees. And I want them maybe even come closer to this area. So we'll go to from library. And we you can see here with some plants. Um, like pine trees and other and I think the pine trees will work very well in this case so I'm going to import as population okay we have it right here our population um, will I need go move this away and increase size so we'll go to move maybe about um, 400 and right here you can see we have it on a middle so let's go ahead move 1000 maybe a little bit too much so 700 should be okay and now I need increase size so we'll move a little bit even more after this we'll go set this to 5000 and it seems like 5000 a little bit too much so we'll go 3000 and let's say 3,000 this way. And just bring around here. So just overall, we'll look about the sizes. I think that is about right. So let's go bring spread a little bit more. I think that should work well. Okay, we can click populate now if you want it, just to preview, see what we have it so far. Okay, it's a lot of plants there. Um, I actually want probably just disable that one and um, remove some of the um, on a clip. So we'll go to scale and we'll just pop up slightly scale see if it will work we'll go to um terrain so that will work okay but i want to add some density um control for this because currently i don't have the option to control my slope but i can do this by adding another um shader we'll go to the surface shader I'm just creating surface layer so in this case if you look, look right here I have my altitude and other options so we'll go select and connect this to the density layer notice how it's already changed a little bit we can always enable max so mask if you can preview how that will look but right here I want to work on altitude and slope so on the slope same I want to reduce a little bit of the maximum slope it doesn't go on the sides even a little bit more flat and maximum altitude probably just give it smooth so when we go 600 so we're going when high right here on this areas you'll notice with the smooth it's kind of start decreasing so let's click populate and you notice how much kind of decreasing going up in the hill again I'm going to preview through the camera so be sure it's covered okay and right this area maybe need to pop up a little bit more um, again by the water we can limit to the minimum altitude and set maybe minus 38 okay we'll go set 10 and in this case we'll set 37 okay let's click populate and right here we start controlling a little bit closer so the one going to the water we can increase again fastness so some of them will come closer or not and we'll go this one 40 okay maybe even 45 bring a little bit closer 
Okay, with the dynamic come closer, we can always reduce the fuzzy zone. But the fuzzy it will give you also this kind of randomness, which is kind of good on this. Um, if you need add additional randomness, we always can go break up little bit areas, which create a bit more patchiness. And if we do this, I want to pop up a little bit higher. So we cover mountains. Okay, let me preview what we have so far. Okay, it's look interesting, but right here it's too sharp and I kind of don't like how this area look right here. So I maybe just apply displacement overall and add some rocks to this area so it's look nicer. I do like how the overall the plants covering. Okay, so let's go ahead and just reposition. Probably around this area, let me remove liquid at this moment. Right around here, I want to create another shader for the rocks. And in some ways, it's easy to do if you already have it one. You can always just take it, control C, copy, and we can paste this so we have it a second one. We'll just take right here and reconnecting. Okay, it does look a little bit messy. rocks for this one okay we have a scale density um, I want to open shader and reposition the shader right around this area so we can kind of modify it okay I can also just go and scale slightly readjusting all this okay um, so let me go just select by the size so we can type in and I'm just putting probably 2000 maybe a little bit too much and put it by 800 so this is will cover nicely and you can see where the rocks coming so we'll bring them a little bit closer Okay, next we can open um, overall rocks and take this density, reduce, put it scale to, so we have individuals, just small rocks, maybe even reduce density more, but it will add nice shape right here. I will leave it right now, power fractal as it is for the, but will rework maybe after let's put it tallest one and pancake one so we'll not squish them on the top so we'll go around okay and i'm going to switch render camera and again need to just reposition okay, so we can see a little bit better I'll we'll go to render. Okay, till render, I can see cover on the rocks. Right here will be water, so we're good. Um, this is add details. Maybe pop up more as a blocks of the rocks. Maybe increase just slightly um, size and randomness to them. But overall, I think this is add a nice effect. And remember, we'll need work with the lights. We'll change quite a bit effect here so we'll go stop on this one let's go to um rocks okay and probably pop up maybe to about three will pop up also um density variation scales maybe drop a little bit right here 
and the variation density pop up to two. Okay, let me look on the Okay, shape should be fine. Just a bit darker. The reason is why we I want to create um a little bit darker because when this will be far away we add additional haze and the haze will wash out at whiteness and our back already look a little bit too white so it will kind of give it nice balance that way okay I'm going to enable lake right now and till I'm right here in a lake let me very fast modify a couple things so one I want to reduce slightly wave scale and reduce roughness so it will have it a little bit but not too much small scale is fine and wind patch just reduced a little bit so it will create some shimmering in the water um, our reflection I do like how reflection um, but um, highlights maybe just a little bit too much and let me again reduce roughness even more so it's almost like calm lake and we'll have those shimmering effects applied to that okay let's render okay so I think there may be too many rocks added I'm going to move camera so we can preview a little bit better at this angle um, bring plants closer and reduce how many rocks do we have so for this let's go take our camera position just slightly out yeah right here we have a trees cover so we're going to objects uh, let's take our pine and uh, probably reduce one this one safe to 550 so we'll just cut a little bit on the side that we don't render we don't need those ones okay um as well till we go right here on the pines let's open altitude constraint just bring maybe to 800 and take this one to 40 so we'll bring those plants closer okay maybe even 37 yes yeah, we'll bring a little bit closer to the edge I want to bring them right here actually it's altitude minus 45 maybe so let me see if I can bring yep I think that is a good one okay let's go look on uh, right here far rocks and we have it stone density drop more and I also reduce scale on this one rest is look okay okay that is look good okay one more thing so let's go right to our settings right here and we'll reduce this one to 300 so we'll reduce how many we need populated okay same reduced to 300 so it's cut off and just pop up scale maybe variation to 5 so some will be taller and lower and we'll have the same here so we'll just have a different high and low and we kind of close to this let's copy our camera and I'm going to do render so we'll see our small changes mostly what I'm looking at is this far away how the our edge will work very good with the plant and trees there okay so I still need the rework reduce a little bit more on the rocks but let's look good and bring plants I think this is about right maybe just a little bit yellowish to add to this one but remove uh, rocks will work very well and in this we'll do in our next tutorials continue kind of tweaking with scenery and start working on the lighting